Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is the big day that my daughter is going to have her surgical procedure. It is 4.58 in the morning. We have to be at the hospital at 6 o'clock. Um, I was I left a little early because I was thinking about stopping and getting me some breakfast although I've already eaten um, I did not get much sleep last night because I was so busy trying to get everything prepared trying to make sure I had everything um, I worked yesterday from 10 to 2 and I made a grocery store run again just to you know make sure I had everything and try to get some things for my oldest daughter for lunch for the week um, so it was just hectic I didn't actually sit down last night until 11 o'clock and even then I was still kind of wired up um, so when I laid down, it still took a while for me to actually fall asleep. And I think I've only gotten maybe about two or three hours of sleep. So, and honestly, I don't even feel sleepy right now. I really don't. Um, I think some of it does have to do with my nerves because... It really, it finally like hit me this morning and I, I said a little prayer, you know, as I was leaving home and I got a little emotional um, because like I said, I just, I think this surgery um, day and me just wanting everything to go well, like I said, it just hit me, you know, um, but I'm doing fine right now um the surgery is supposed to be anywhere between four and six hours um and as far as i know my daughter may have like a three or four day hospital stay somewhere in there you know as long as everything goes well but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come each day and give you all the update um on her the surgery and how things are going with her and um, just share this experience with you all because this is probably one of the most scariest surgeries I think she's ever had um, because they will be operating pretty much on her brain. So it's a little nerve wracking. Um, I don't even think I felt this bad when she had her um, feeding tube placed. Or this nervous, I should say. I'm not going to say I feel bad, but I don't think I felt this nervous when she had her feeding tube placed. So, um,. Yeah, so like I said, um, I'll probably stop and get me something to eat, and um, that way I'll have it with me. I don't really feel hungry, but I'm going to get something just to be on the safe side, and who knows, I, I actually have... Um, my dad is actually getting a procedure done at the same hospital today. So while I'm waiting, um, maybe my mom and I will be able to link up over at the hospital. And that'll be a good thing, you know, that, you know, I'll have someone else there, even though, you know, we're going for different things. Um, it'll be a good thing to have my mom, you know, there. And, you know, while we're waiting, we can probably... You know, just sit around and chit chat or whatever. So we'll see how things go. Um, 
like I said, my daughter's procedure is supposed to be about four to six hours. I'm not sure how long my dad's um, procedure is going to be. I'm not sure if he'll have to stay overnight or not. But I just know they have to be there this morning. Probably a little bit after uh, we get there, they'll have to, you know, their arrival time would be up. So it feels weird being out <laughs> this early because I don't get out this early. Um, it's so quiet and traffic is not as bad as it can get. <laughs> it's like looking at the few little cars I do see on the road is not that bad compared to what it can be like, you know. So, it just feels weird. And then, like, everything was just quiet this morning when I walked out the door. And I had to take some trash out from last night. So, I was just like, I was on <laughs> my P's and Q's and had my extra guard up and whatnot because I don't I don't usually take trash out unless it's the daytime. So anyways, I'm gonna chit chat with you all later. I am at McDonald's. Sorry my window is dirty. <laughs> I'm at McDonald's and I'll see you all soon.